Bueno, sí. Hey guys, welcome back here at Table for Six. Uh, it's dinner time, and I'm actually gonna prepare some simple, easy to make salsa. And uh, there's some ingredients here, so stay tuned. All right guys, let's take a look at our, our ingredients for the salsa. We have about three tomatoes, a handful of uh, serrano chilies, and another handful of jalapeno chilies. We have some green tomatillos and two full onions cut in fourths. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna throw these on the griddle. We're gonna let them saute and let them char a little bit. And then we're gonna blend them in a blender and we'll add some salt according to you know our own personal taste. Uh, so here we go. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you guys. Check this out. Blackstone cutting board. Take a look at that. It's actually made for the side shelves of a Blackstone griddle, probably like a 36 inch or whatnot. But I'm using it as a cutting board here. It's got a pretty big surface. This thing's pretty nice. Just picked it up today. We'll see how this cutting board does. But, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and throw these uh, onto the griddle. All right, guys, so we're gonna actually put our heat to high. And we're gonna throw some olive oil. Good amount of olive oil here. And I don't have any spatula anywhere close by, so I'm just gonna use one of these onions here and spread this oil around. Just like that. Nothing fancy. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do right here. And they actually say that uh, when you're ever, whenever you're making salsa, you gotta have the Mexican flag colors or else it's not a real salsa. So sticking to that theme, or that myth, we're gonna do the green. I want the greens on one side, and do the white. I might cut these tomatoes in half. But anyway, there's, there's your stage. Eh? There's your Mexican flag colors. So again, if you don't have the Mexican flag colors, whenever you're making salsa, it's not real salsa. So here we go. We're gonna let these char up, and then uh, I do them a turn here, and then we'll throw them on the blender. So stay tuned. So I just want to show you guys, I ended up cutting the tomatoes in fourths, um, so it'll probably get them going a little bit faster. Um, these are cooking, or, or I should say uh, charring pretty good already. I'm going to give them a little turn in, in just a few seconds. Um, but yeah guys, you know, like I said, this is really simple. These are only four different types of ingredients you need, and you add some salt. And you're ready to go. Really simple for some tacos or you know, just some simple chips with salsa. And man, this smells really good. I wish you guys could smell this. You hear that? That's the sound of greatness, guys.
All right, guys, let's take a look and see where we're at with our ingredients here. We've been on here for about five minutes. And yeah, there you go. Take a look at that char. Look at that. That's what you want, guys. That's going to give you that, that great flavor to blend this salsa. And I enjoy these summer nights. We're in quarantine, guys, here in Southern California, but that doesn't stop us from eating great. You know, you can't go out and eat at a restaurant. You better bring those restaurants to your home. And, uh, you know, just buy yourself some, a good griddle or a good grill and get out there and cook. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know what you're eating, you know what you're getting. Nothing like cooking your own food, preparing your own meals. Look at that, guys. Just look at this. Man, this is really, really great here. Just doing a little turn. You can simply blend these ingredients without um, charring them, but it's, I mean, it, it's like night and day, guys, you know, night and day, you, you're going to get this, this burnt flavor, I don't want to call it burnt, it's, uh, I, I, I don't even know how to describe, but, yeah, it's completely night and day between, if you, if you don't do this step, I mean, you're doing it wrong, what can I say, so take the time and char your ingredients, Believe me, guys, you won't be sorry. So stay tuned. Okay guys, this is the color that uh, we're looking for here. See how they're nice and charred and toasted? Right there, see that? That's about the color you want. I think these are about ready to get out. And uh, we're gonna throw them on the blender. And you don't wanna leave these tomatoes in too long because then you start juicing all the juices. And it's looking really good here. Look at these peppers, these chilies. Oh wow, look at that. Yep. So yeah guys, this is uh, ready to take out. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and we'll meet you back over at the blender. guys we have our blender here we're gonna go ahead and, and throw in our ingredients this is what we have here they turned out pretty great here so and just a little advice if you guys don't have a big enough blender uh, when you throw the ingredients you can do it in portions but make sure you do equal portions of whatever however amount of ingredients you have you know so but I think our blenders uh, good size here, we should be able to fit all of this. Let's go ahead and throw it in. And keep in mind that these are hot, so you gotta have a blender that can withstand the heat. If you're using a glass container or glass um, blender 
make sure it's uh, appropriate for the heat or else it can crack on you. You don't want that. This smells really good guys like I said this is really inexpensive easy to do I mean you can do this in no time all you need is a blender if you don't have a griddle you can use a, a grill you can use your stove top cast iron skillet I mean you do whatever you want but this is uh, how we do it with the griddle. Let's go ahead and put the lid on. Go. Locked. And we're going to do a pulse first. So pulse a couple times. Make sure you get all the big solid chunks. And I think this is going to be like a, almost like a greenish color. We'll see what it turns out like. And I'm just going to go on medium. some salt and in this case I'm going to use kosher salt and again this is according to taste so you know I'm not going to give you any measurements I'm using about uh, I don't know about a tablespoon or so and we'll go from there we'll give it we'll taste it and we'll see how we like it uh, you know maybe I can for this amount it's probably gonna be about a tablespoon and a half or so so here we go. We'll blend it again. I'm gonna do uh, high. You know what I actually forgot to mention? I'm actually gonna squirt some lemon here. I'm gonna squeeze about a half a lemon. Just like that, not too much. You don't wanna overpower the flavor. Okay guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Give it a taste here. Mmm. That's pretty good. Let me uh, I think I need a little bit more salt. I'm gonna do another half a tablespoon. here mm, I think this is perfect all right guys um, we're gonna pour this into a container and we'll be right back all right guys there you have it we got our salsa in our container we have some chips here 
man look at that it's a beautiful color you got the char little crumbs there it's perfect guys so we're gonna go ahead and grab some lime here and squeeze it on the chips here just a little bit and we're gonna go for the taste let's see this is this salsa is perfect for dipping look at that it's not you know too liquidy it's a nice consistency for dipping Mm. Oh wow guys, I gotta have another one. You know, with the, it, it, I think it's the perfect amount of uh, peppers. It, it has this, uh, this, the lime gives it this uh, nice taste at the beginning and then it gives you that kick where you get that spiciness. All right, I'm gonna let my wife give it a shot, see what she thinks. Go ahead. Mmm, delicious. It's really good. Oh, what do you think? Some, some beers? Mm -hmm. Some chips and salsa? Look at that, that color, guys. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, guys, this is simple, quick and easy, nothing to it. Um, you know, you gotta give it a shot for yourself. All you need is those ingredients. Uh, you know, you, it made about a half of, uh, yeah, about half of uh, a blender. So if you need more, if you're having a big gathering, big party, you know, just multiply the ingredients according to, to what I showed you here. But uh, again, thank you for all the love. Thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.